Okay, in this video, we will talk about the rules in Prolog. Okay, so if you remember from my from my previous video, we we have defined this this parent relationship over there, right, between two objects. Okay, and we, we try to solve lot of lot of queries, lot of Prolog queries related to which we can answer using this parent relationship over there, right? Now, now let us let us try to get a notion or get an intuition behind behind the prologue rules okay and let's see whether whether it, it makes sense or not okay so for that let's say we will we will define a relationship called offspring over here okay so offspring means so if i if i just if i just write it down here so for if i just write down in 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 terms of mathematical logic so for all x and y okay so y is y will be y or better i'll say y is y is offspring offspring of x okay if if x is parent of y right so th this is how the how we thought th this is how the offspring is like so there are there are two ways there are two ways we can we can define this relationship over here okay either this is the simplest way either we can we can create offspring like this offspring like s p r i n g okay either we can create offspring like this suppose if if pam is parent of bob that means bob will be the offspring of pam okay for for each and every combination over here right we can we can do something like this or we can we can define this define this one in a very elegant way okay i'll i'll show you that one and that that logic will come from this one right so basically we are talking about a reverse of the parent relationship over here right so instead of defining all of this all of this offspring relationship again as a fact okay what we can do is we can create a rule so so the concept of rule is coming from here only so if you if you if we talk about facts which we have created over here as a parent right it is always true and it will always be true right now ops now the rules basically it has a conditional part over there right so if some condition happens then only that that particular this particular thing will be successful something like this over here if x is parent of y here y has to be the offspring of x over here right so we are basically we are basically creating clauses prologue clauses conditionally over here this is this is the main idea behind the rule over here okay so so let us let us try to define that one so we will we will not do like something like this okay we will we will define a rule over here now okay so we will say offspring y y will be offspring of x here okay when so this is this is how we define rule in prolog is colon then dash then we will say on the condition part of it let's say over here i am saying parent if x is parent of y here okay so what what we are telling essentially over here if x is parent of y then this y has to be the offspring of x so we we defined all of this six line into a single line over here if you see okay so we do not need to define again and again over there so automatically it will be applicable as as we have defined it using a variables right so it will be applicable for all this parent relationship over here okay so we have we have defined our offspring relationship now let, let us let us test it out somehow okay so i'll just make it okay making it done we will go to our swi prolog prompt here okay so if i if i just ask a question like if if i just go over here okay if i just say liz is liz is offspring of tom let us see how how it is how it is prolog is answering then we will try to see other stuff so we will say offspring okay we will say liz then tom okay 
dot if you see prologue is returning true over here right now if i just go over here again so internally what it is happening so internally prologue first we are we are passing y as liz and x as tom over here right let us write it down so to our offspring rule offspring we are passing liz here at the first argument and Tom here in the as a second object or argument over here, right? Now, as this is a rule, right? So prologue will first determine what is the condition part of the rule. So this is called okay. Let me let me go back over here. This right hand side of the rule is called the condition part, and the left hand side of the rule is called the conclusion part here, right? So prologue will first determine what is the condition part over here. It founds a rule called offspring, okay, and the condition part is parent. Okay, P A R E N T parent. Now it's just the opposite. The first argument is Y and the second argument is X, right? And when we define this rule for the parent, the first argument is X and second argument is Y, correct? So internally, prologue will transfer something like this Tom and Liz. So that means internally, prologue will validate whether Tom is parent of Liz or not. Right. So if you see, even though we are we are asking about this goal or this query, right, sending to prologue, internally prologue is transferring that goal to this goal over here, right. And as we have defined this particular rule as a variable input, right. So it, it is applicable for 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 all all of the inputs over here, right. So that's why this is called the instantiation of that rule. Okay. So internally prologue validated that's okay. Yeah, Tom is. Tom is definitely parent of Liz. That's why our condition part is true here. So that's why automatically the conclusion part will be true, true as well. Okay. So that's why prologue is returning true over here. Okay. So this is the this is the idea behind a rule. Okay. Now, now let, let us let us see even even if if I just talk about the terminology part, this is also called the head of the rule and this is also called the body of the rule okay this is just fancy terms over here so but basic idea is same now now let us talk about another rule called mother okay so if i just say if i if i just defined in in, in terms of mathematical logic here okay so so this one this one we have defined for offspring right let us let us write it down here of spring Okay. Now we are we are planning to define a rule called mother. Okay. So, so if I just if I just write in terms of mathematical logic, so if I just say for all x and y. Okay. So x is mother of y. Okay. If x is parent of y, definitely this has to be true and x is female right so this this has to be true as well right so we are we are talking about a, a new entry to our to our list called a relationship or any any kind of prologue clause or fact we need to create related to female over here right this is a new term we have we have already defined the parent relationship but we we do not have any kind of rule or fact related to the gender of of that parent right so let us try to create that one so we can create this thing in two different way okay either we can create like simple female relationship for all the all the members over here okay or we can say gender relationship so if i if i just write it down a simple simple term okay we can create something like female okay x or y or male x or y so let us say female pam that means i am telling pam is female here right or i can write something like gender gender okay pam pam female okay that is that this is all this is this is the another way we can express this this relationship as well so generally this is called the binary relationship because we are involving two objects here and the and the female so if i just if i just delete it okay and the female one we previously defined okay this is called the unary 
relationship because this is basically involved a single object so generally the unary relationships are characteristics of the object or different properties of the objects okay so let us let us go go ahead with this female relationship as female relationship only female or male relationship okay so we'll say female pam female liz okay female pat female and okay so we we have defined four females it does define a couple of males here as well male tom okay male jim and male bob okay so we have defined pam liz pat and ann so if i just go back to our diagram pam liz pat and ann as female and tom bob and jim as male over here okay so we are we are now going to define a rule called mother right so we can write something like this one so we will come back over here okay we will say mother okay mother x y okay so basically we are defining a rule called mother between two objects x and y okay so when x will be mother of y when x will be parent of y right so now let let me show you another stuff over here so when you when you define a prolog clauses right so you can you can always go to the new line over here but you need to make sure the indentation is correct over here okay so if i if i just write something like parent okay x has to be parent and parent of y okay and this comma is our and operator over here right and x needs to be female as well right so this is how we have defined the mother relationship over here right so let us save it out now let us let us compile it once okay so make is done so we have defined the mother rule over here right so let let, let us test it out in our in our prolog okay so if i just if i just try to see whether pam is mother of bob or not as pam is female over here right we have defined pam as female over here right so we can we can write something like mother okay pam comma bob right so if, if you see prolog is returning true over here right so so now so we 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 have defined a relationship called mother over here right so now if 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 i just go back over here right so so internally as i as i as i explained before so this is this is validating the rule in same same way it is first instantiating this rule using x and y then it is checking for the condition part whether parent condition is true or not whether fem this female condition is true or not and based on that it is it is answering the question over here now think about it in in my previous video we we answered a question called who is the grandparent of whom right so can can we define a grandparent relationship over here right yes of course we can define in a similar way so if i for an example if i just say if i want to explain a rule grandparent okay grandparent over here so x will be grandparent of z i am skipping y because y will be coming in between because y will be the child of x over here that's why i'm writing as x and z but you can write in write in any any variable over here okay so x will be parent of z, grandparent of z only when x will be x will be the parent of y okay and and y will be the parent of z okay so this should be our grandparent rule over here okay if you see this is this is really elegant way to to express different different facts right because here we are basically 
inferring something if i just talk about in terms of mathematical logic so it is we are rules are nothing but the inferences we draw from the facts over there okay so so hopefully this video is helpful in the next videos we will see try to see more more other other features of prolog as well okay see you in next video